like 10 a.m. so it's really not that early but yet I'm still tired. Today is another exciting day. Hi Luna, good morning. Good morning baby. Hi. Hi. Today is an exciting day. I'm gonna get ready while I start getting ready at least while I talk to you guys because I have only like 30 minutes to get ready and I kind of have a lot to do. Not even getting ready wise, just like I have a lot to pack in my backpack and like I just need to like get organized. I don't know what I'm wearing <laughs> yet today. So anyways, okay. So today is a really exciting day. I bought a car and buying a car. I don't know. I guess I could technically say either because... I put a deposit down on it already, so technically it's mine already. I just have to pay the rest of the money today. Um, so, I'm buying a car. I'm buying my first car. My first, I guess this is kind of like one of my first big girl purchases, which is hella exciting, um, first of all. And second of all, I'm so proud of myself and so happy and so excited and... Um, I feel so blessed and so deserving, um, because I work my ass off and I deserve this and I'm excited and I'm allowed to be excited. So my therapist would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> I'm buying a car today. Um, I actually didn't test drive the car, so that's interesting. <laughs> um... And I don't know if the guy is going to let me test drive it because I already put a deposit down on it. I probably should have asked before I even put the deposit down on it. All I did was he showed me it. He opened the trunk, opened all the doors, showed me the inside. It's a used car, but it has really low mileage. It's super, super clean and well kept. There's not a scratch on it. It's in super, super good condition. There's no, like... There's nothing broken. There's no repairs that needs to be done right now. Um, and the dealership I went to, actually, um, it was really cool. He took care of basically everything for me. The only thing I had to do myself was the insurance, but he took care of the inspection, the registration, getting license plates for me. Um, so it's like ready to go today. I can just drive it um, off the lot and not have to worry about doing that stuff because it's already done. So it's ready to go today. I originally expected to drive, this is not a good angle of me. <laughs> like, I originally, there's always mascara, leftover mascara under my eyes, it drives me crazy. But I originally expected when I was buying a car that I'd be able to drive it directly off the lot after buying it, but apparently that's not always how that works. <laughs> that's okay. The, I can't talk. The guy at the dealership called me on Saturday and was like, hey, your car's ready if you want to come pick it up. But on Saturday, I was in the city um, meeting Michaela Nigeria, or Nagoya, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I don't think I've ever heard anyone pronounce her last name either, but um, so I couldn't pick it up. So I had to wait until Monday morning because they were closed on Sundays. And today is Monday morning, finally, so I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> I don't know, the only reason I'm nervous is because I didn't test drive it and I don't know how I'm going to like driving it. And obviously getting a new car is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Right now I'm driving a 2007 Toyota Camry and my new car is a 2012, 2012 or 2013, like around there, um, Jeep Liberty. So yeah. I also think it's funny because my mom went with me to do to go car shopping and one of the the Jeep Liberty that was on the lot it was in the front and it was one of the first cars that she pointed out to me and I was like no I don't want a Jeep I don't like Jeeps 
but then I looked at the Jeep next to it, which was more like an SUV. I don't know anything about cars, so I'm not like, oh, I don't know what kind of Jeep it was, but it was not like a four, it was a four door car, but it wasn't like a Wrangler or a Liberty. It was different. It was more like a SUV car or like, I don't know, I call it a mom car, um, which was really nice and I liked it, but it was way too pricey for me, so I couldn't afford it. Um, well, I could have afforded it, but I am trying to save some money and not spend all my money um, on a car because as much as I want like a fancy, nice car, I also need to save money and pay bills. Um, but the, the, the Jeep Liberty is a nice car. It is nice. And it's not new, like brand new, but it's new for me, which is still exciting. And I don't care that it's been driven before. It has low mileage, it's in great condition, so... It's new for me and it's exciting because my family has never had such a nice car before so I'm used to driving just like whatever they had at the time and then I got my um, Toyota Camry when I was 17 and I got that from family which was really really nice it was a great starter car um, I'm not getting rid of it I'm actually going to give it to my mom um so that's cool because she can still get use out of it toyotas are great cars like there's only one issue with it and i've had it for two whole years and it's a 2007 so it's it's pretty old and there's only there was only one issue in that time period um since i've had it so they're great cars really so that's that it's not even early in the morning but i'm so tired still for some reason i need to like i haven't like woken up yet <sighs> okay so i'm gonna get ready and we're gonna go to the bank and get my cash and get my car i'm nervous and excited another exciting thing that i don't think i've told you guys yet because i haven't vlogged in a super super long time because i've been so busy with school I got hired to co-teach a acting class with one of my old directors and it's on Monday nights which works for me because I don't have anything else going on Monday nights. Typically Mondays I just go to school and come home and do homework but now I go to school, go to lunch, and then go to work. Um, and it's a fairly easy job and I like doing it and it's good for my resume so currently I'm teaching um like lion king themed stuff today i'm teaching choreography for hakuna matata and then um we're doing a scene we're doing the scene when i don't know a lot about lion king if i'm being honest um the scene when i think it's scar and he this, we're doing the scene where he says look kid if the world turns back on you you turn your back on the world and i love that scene so i'm excited because i get to block that and teach that scene today um so I'm looking forward to that. It's our last class before Easter, so I have some little Easter goodies for my students too. I'm teaching, I teach preschoolers in my first class and my second class is older. They're like, maybe like eight to 12, eight to 14-ish, so yeah. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. Last week I wore jeans and like flats and a really cute blouse, but then like I forgot that we were like dancing because usually I just teach acting. So I'm gonna wear something that I can like move around in today. <laughs> okay, let's change. Okay, so not what I wanted to wear originally, but I'm just wearing army print little lemons and my company t-shirt. Um, I didn't wanna wear all black, but that's just kinda how it worked out because the other shirt I went to her had stains all over it. How rude. Anyways, okay, I have to pack my backpack. <laughs> all right, I already got a water bottle in here. I got my work papers. I really need to get a folder for my work papers. Things. I'm just gonna put in my school bag. I think I'm just gonna leave my hair down with me today. I can't find, oh, I see it. I was just about to say I can't find my favorite scrunchie and it's right here. So I'm just gonna wear that. When I teach, I'll probably wind up putting my hair up. And I put my wallet in my backpack. Okay, put some perfume on. 
have to bring the papers about my car. And then I'm also going to bring the new thing for my car because I'm not going to be home all day. But I just got a uh, car tripod thingy or whatever you want to call it for the dashboard. Because I have one in my current car, but it's only one use. So if you take it off, it's not going to stick to another car. And then I just got this cute little folder that you put like your insurance and your registration in and put it in your glove box so it doesn't get ruined or anything. Or like important information goes in here. So I'm going to put that in my car. And honestly, I don't think I have to put anything else in my new car um, at the moment other than my backpack and myself for work. Currently in my current car, there's a yoga mat, a purse and some little things that I need to put in my new car, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna put this one in my car because it's almost empty anyway. Um, but yeah, so I just gotta put my shoes on. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything, but I don't think I am. So I just have to put my shoes on and get ready to go. Well, I'm ready to go, but I just have to put my shoes on and brush my teeth. So yeah. I wanted to change my earrings, but I always run out of time and it takes like me forever to get my earrings in because it's hard kind of. All right, I'm gonna turn off my lights, save electric and grab all my stuff. I honestly don't know where my air forces are. I hope I left them downstairs. Okay, we got the car and I'm so excited, but I'm also about to be late to class. And I'm never late to class, so your girl has to go. Your girl has to get to class. Um, I love the car. I actually, I had time to stop at Starbucks, thank God. Because I was literally nauseous. I didn't eat anything this morning, but I also didn't eat my Starbucks. I had like half of a baked Gouda sandwich. But, you know, we got the Starbucks. I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm almost late to class, so we need to go. I have to throw this out. And um, I forgot my keychain in my other car, so I just have the key. So hopefully I don't lose it. But... I also parked so far away from the school. That's my Jeep all the way back there because I didn't want to hit into anything. Forgot my starbs, so I had to walk all the way back to the car. I'm so out of breath, that was a long walk. But it's warm out today, no jacket. All right, class is over. So I had the walk back to my car. Oh, I just can't get over how nice my car sounds. I get this AC going, it's so hot in here. I switched over everything this morning from my other car that needed to be in this car at the dealership. And I forgot my aux cord. Wow, it's really hard to roll up a yoga mat in your car, don't mind me. This car has Bluetooth phone and hands-free, so I expected it to have Bluetooth radio too. Maybe it does and I just don't know how to work it. Anyways, I'm trying to like get organized. So, I have this, but it doesn't really fit on the dashboard. There's like really no dashboard. And also my thing, but I don't know if this is like, I don't know where I'm gonna put this on the dashboard either, if I'm being completely honest. Cause I did not know that the dashboard was so small or like, I, 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 I don't know. I think I like looked at it really super quickly when I got in it the first time because there's a lot of things I didn't realize, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be fine. I'm just slightly worried about like how much gas it uses because as I'm sure you all know, gas prices right now are like not the vibe. Bro, I left my Starbucks on top of my car. I got it. <laughs> I literally saw it in the reflection of the car next to me and I was like, wait a minute, that's my Starbucks. All right, well. 